Look at my 100k plaque. Everybody Bro's just cooked. take a look at my 100k plaque. Bro's cooked. Look at it, chat. Just look at my 100k plaque, man. There's, there, there ain't no way bro's wallpaper on his PC is of young speed. Like, yo, that's, 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 the dick, the dick riding is on a, like, bro, a different levels, bro. I show speed clone. Are you serious right now, bro? This is him now. Yeah, who I mer stole that from speed. Who, who, mer who mer is white boy M? M is white boy M. His only claim to fame was literally... Top three streamers is Kai, Sanat, Speed, and Aiden Ross. Is Aiden Ross still in top three, though? Is Aiden Ross still in top three, though? He fell off? That's what this video is going to tell me. ain't going to lie. As I remember, I remember like him doing his little thing of copying Speed and shit like that. He's the face of Kick. He owns Kick. Well, he's a part owner of Kick, isn't he? He did just stream with Donald Trump, so like, I guess he is top three. I, I'm gonna give him his flowers. I'm gonna give him his flowers. Oh, yeah, I, I could say Aiden. I could say, damn, bro. Kai, Speed, and Aiden Ross. Damn, bro. The three headed goat on Gat. Being a carbon copy of 2021 2022 I Show Speed, using his infamous catchphrase, Are You Serious Right Now? It's only been about two years since he quote unquote blew up on the internet. And after this recent clip of him calling out I Show Speed for quote unquote stealing, people are wondering where did he go? For a very short amount of time, Emerson, aka White Boy M, had the internet in the palm of his hands. He did everything, and I mean everything, that I Show Speed did. This strategy proved successful, leading to a surge in his viewership and subscribers, fueled by both interest and criticism. Many people waited for a fall off that seemed inevitable, as Emerson never adopted his own personality or gimmick. But he would not let that stop him. See, Emerson had a dream of being a successful content creator as early as 2019. I was gonna, bro, it's that whole phase, the whole phase are, are picking up fast. I ain't gonna lie, broski. Yeah, Playboy Max, that's the whole phase group, bro. Was it Playboy Max, Lacey, uh, was it uh, Stable Ronaldo, and there's one more, bro, that Asian boy. Yeah, bro, all, all of them, bro. Yeah, Ron? Yeah, yeah, is that, is that his name? Yeah, that motherfucker's motherfuck funny, ain't gonna lie, bro. That motherfucker's funny. Uploading vlogs about summer, mukbangs, and other various content. It was after uploading a back-to-school vlog that he would start to take content creation Bro, this, this dude, this, this dude, dude, bro, they motherf these, these children, them just making, making random mindset, Emerson uploaded public interviews, which was a big trend at the time. Question for today is, you got 24 hours left on Earth, what you doing? By one thing? No, what you, like, what you doing in general? I'm going to try to pull all the girls that I couldn't pull. You feel me? <laughs> all right, man. We out. And even Fortnite and Omegle vids. These earlier vids didn't do very well, but it seemed like Emerson started to understand how far you can get by following certain trends. However, Fortnite did latch on a bit as he became a montage editor known as Bluffing. He would try other things to get him some sort of recognition in the Fortnite scene, but nothing came to fruition. And this is exactly when he came up with his best ideas. Uploading videos on Twitter showing more of his personality and eventually got the attention from Faye Sway, who retweeted one of his videos. Is this on your timeline? Just know that 2021 is your year. You will will make it. You just cannot give up. Bro, this is not the same kid, bro. What the hell? Goals for yourself. I want you to open your phone, open your computer, go to your notes and write down goals for yourself for 2021. And I want you to follow them all 20. You say 2021? Peak COVID? You say 2021? <laughs> Why does his lip look like that? The real question is, why are you looking at bro's lips? <laughs> what the heck? Yo, I'm looking at his eyes. I ain't gonna lie, which is still kind of... 2020, 2020 was peak COVID. Still COVID. 2021, 20, 20, 2019, 2020. He got purple lips. All you have... Your lips is weird, I ain't gonna lie. What the fuck? Why, you right, though. His lips is, do look weird. They're like, why did... Like he's been suck Paul, it looked like he's been sucking on something, bro. What to do is set goals for yourself and make sure you maintain those goals and follow them. You will make it in 2021. I want you to look back at the video once you make it and say, wow, he really helped me. 
whoever sees this, you will make it. After staying in the Fortnite community for a while, an IRL situation involving his school made him delete all of his videos. He spoke on this in a video titled, All of My Videos Are Gone. So this big hurdle made him go back to the drawing board to find a new direction for his content. This was also around the time he discovered I- It's crazy how your school can make you delete your shit off social media, bro. Like, should that be a thing? I mean, I get it if you're post like, if you're posting like, like crazy stuff, but dude was playing, was doing Fortnite. Like, <laughs> bro was playing Fortnite. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? And his school was like, you can't, you can't do that. What the hey? What the hey? I'm surprised Speed didn't get kicked out of school for the shit he was doing. You know what I'm saying? But he shouldn't be able to get, get, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I'm no parent. You know what I'm saying? I'm no parent. I show speed and created the persona we know today as White Boy M. Realizing the effectiveness of emulating popular content creators, White Boy M began incorporating the persona of I show speed, mimicking his voice, mannerisms, and facial expressions. This decision, while generating immense controversy and oh, criticism, okay, okay, ultimately okay. catapulted White Boy M into the spotlight. His peak came when he uploaded an I show speed diss track called Right Now, a play on the Are You Serious Right Now catchphrase. This video went viral, sitting at over 3 million views, and got the attention of many creators like Aiden Ross and even even I show speed. But a number of creators took his trolling seriously, while some laughed off White Boy M as an obsessed fan. Kostinet was one of the creators that didn't see the vision, and rightfully so. I mean, he was just copying I show speed. What you said right now, you said when I get in the call, you're gonna have to press me for acting like you're a man. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie that straight. yeah, so, 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 me personally, I feel like you a brother. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, okay. and, 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 and I got no problems with you. You are the this is my concern. You got no problems with me. I actually find the right now really funny. Like, all right, the right now. Thank like, you, it's, it's, Thank it's, you, it's, 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 it's funny. I feel like if you allow you to be yourself, people will love you for you. You know, I want people to snap with you, bro. You, you, you got his whole, you, you got his whole demeanor. You got his whole demeanor now. Like you, dead right. ass move like him. You talk like him. You, your headphones is, is on like him. And let me just tell you something right now, bro. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I don't think right now, bro, the way you acting right now, I don't think it's gonna go far for you. I'm not gonna lie to you. And that's and that's just be me, that's just me being a real n right now, bro. Right when? Right now, bro. Okay. Nah, but like, I ain't gonna lie to like right this is now. Really how I act, bro. Are you like, serious right now? No, type of way. no, it's not, are bro, because I've seen people expose you on TikTok. I, I, I've never seen somebody expose me. I ain't gonna bro, lie. I've seen somebody expose Bussin. you on how you really act. Yeah, bro, look, I don't like lies. Right now. Me, I find it disrespectful. Like, right, you right here, right now. You know what I'm saying? So don't lie to I me. Feel what you say. You, I feel what you say. You know, you know what you're doing, bro. And I respect that you a good actor. Like, right yeah, now, bro. right now, it's probably lit right now. You probably like it right now. Like, everybody going crazy right now and all that. But right now, bro, in the long term, you want this right now or you want it long? It long. If you want to be honest, be like, oh, I'm going to do this for fun right now. I don't care about it right now. Kostinet wouldn't be the only creator to share that same sentiment, as Patrick CC uploaded a video of his own, explaining that it's important to build your brand based on you and not someone else because trends don't last forever. And he also had a point. With this wave of hate that White Boy M received, a lot of love- Is this shirt backwards? Port will soon follow suit. And Inside out and, and backwards? Push him to the 100,000 subscriber mark. For another what? moment in time, the internet hate didn't win. What is good with y'all boys in the chat, man? 100? Thousand subs. That's insane. You got a hundred thousand subs from Dick Riders, somebody else is crazy, bro. Is <laughs> this plaque is actually worth a lot more than you think, buddy. Yeah, bro, actually, it's cooked. Cause yeah. You can't get this unless you're a YouTuber with a hundred thousand subs. So that's like a lot of money right there off the bat. White boy, you know, we're passing one hundred thousand subscribers now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty crazy, dude. Like. It's it's really crazy how far I came, man. You know, but look at my 100k plaque. Everybody Bro's just cooked. take a look at my 100k plaque. Bro's cooked. Look at it, chat. Just look at my 100k plaque, man. There's, there, there ain't no way, bro's wallpaper on his PC is of young speed. Like, yo, that's that that's the dick the dick riding is on a like, bro, a different levels, bro. Like, it's not even, bro. You're Straight on, just like you know what I'm saying, bro. You, 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 it's fully inserted, bro. 
Yeah. What though? Take advantage of all the attention, switching to his normal mannerisms Pause. and persona. You know, if a girl says she don't have a type, I'm just automatically assuming like, okay, she has a type and maybe I just don't fit her description of a type because obviously she knows I'm white by now, you know. So maybe she don't <laughs> like white boys, but she just wanted to say she don't have a type, but like whole time, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all see the new camera though? Like y'all can see my whole room, bro. Nowadays, White Boy M has millions of lawyer supporters on YouTube, TikTok, Damn. On Instagram. Well, TikTok is busting, ain't gonna lie, what the fuck? People have been saying that his vlogs and IRL content are basically the clickbait softcore corn that we've been seeing from the black YouTube community for ages. Talk it's sheet. working, so I can't blame him for uploading the slop. The only issue that I have is the audience is probably young and impressionable. Plus, everyone doesn't have to be sexual to get views on YouTube. When will this trend die? But other than that, White Boy M has been seen around YouTuber Cam Wilder's AAU program, Rod Wave Elite, where he apparently coaches them. Recently, White Boy M went back to his old character for a moment, saying that he came up with the Are You Serious Right Now catchphrase. Did y'all heard anybody else say, Are You Serious Right Now, dub? Y'all heard that before me? Y'all heard that before me? Y'all heard that before me? Be real. Speed never said that. I don't know. All right, bro. Okay, bro. I don't know where that spawned. All right. Landed, All right. All right, bro. Trying to spark, spark a little clip to get a little bit of fame back. Everything I love. Bro, trying to spark a little clip I to get a little bit of fame back. He said, "Are you serious right now, bro? Be realistic." Yes, he did. The clips that y'all seen from Speed saying, "Are you serious right now, dude?" Is you, yeah, yeah. You can't be serious right now, don't get. You can't be serious right now, bro. You can't be serious right now, bro. You can't be serious right now, bro. Men saying it. I had Kai saying it. I had Duke saying it. I had Speed saying it. I had Jideon saying it. I had, who else I had saying it? I had Aiden saying it. Oh, God, stop, chat. That's my little shit. The biggest question is, did White Boy M get the last laugh? I think he did. I feel like it's always been his plan to gain as much recognition as he could. The no last laugh? He was always successful in doing that, even in the Fortnite community. The only thing is that what other creators told him was right, and that's exactly why he needed to change his brand up a bit. Even though White Boy M will be written in the chapter of internet history as I Show Speed's biggest copycat, I'm sure he's content with it as he branched off to build his own persona. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I guess so, if you still make your money, but like at the same time, bro, that's, that's so cooked, bro. You had to freaking glaze another dude's pee pee, like OD with it, to fucking pop off. And then after you popped up, you start doing your own thing and everybody left still, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's so, like, ugh. And you gotta look back, you know what I'm saying? Pop, 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 your, your kids gonna be like, how you get all this money, man? Uh, back in the day, I was known as this, as this glazer, bro.